Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Hopefully third luck's a charm, because oh boy. So I did an art journal page the other day and I realized I miss it. Now, I'm not very good at it, but I enjoy doing it. And I used my Dilution paints on a layout, a summer layout, um, that I did, and this was kind of what I wiped off so I didn't waste any of the extra paints. Now I went through all my paints, and my paints are all so very dry, and, oh, don't glitch, don't glitch, I lost you guys on my screen. Um, so it's time for me to play with them. So I went through as I was waiting for my computer to upload for the third time, and spritzed them all down with water. I'm going to use the tech, the, um, yeah, the smushing technique, I think it's called. So I really like that look. Now, the only problem with that look is that I can't seem to cover the entire background the way I'd want to. And that's okay. I just like how it looks watercolor-y-ish. Oh, and I just got that all over my arm. I do not have enough water in this paintbrush. I am running out of water everywhere. So I'm really liking smushing, kissing technique, or whatever it's called. I think I'm going to pick a random page and smush this. Just wherever. Doesn't have to look good. We'll make it look better later, right? Great. I just want to keep going until no more color is coming off of it, really. Okay. Close enough for me. And I'll close this guy up. I want to do a lot of summary fun, loud colors, I think is what I'm going for. And this is where stuff's going to get messy. Okay, I'm going to bring out this, oh, just in case anyone wants to know, this one's crushed grape. These are the original 12. I don't have any more than that because I haven't been using them, and I told myself that I wasn't allowed to get the other set, the next set, until I, you know, use some of these. Now they look like they've been used. That's because they've mostly evaporated. Sadly to say. But true. Because I haven't used them in forever. And that's not okay. Gotta use my stuff. See, and this is, again, this is me realizing that because I was hoarding these, because I was afraid to use them, now I've lost half of them because they've disappeared in the air. They're gone. And I can't get them back. So, I just gotta use it. Use it or literally lose it. <laughs> because this stuff doesn't hang around forever. And we'll do some crazy smushing over here. And I'm just going to use, oddly enough, my water bottle to fill this up. Hopefully I don't do I make a mess. Whoops. Also, I me, mean, actually, I'll just dump some in there. Because, well, that needs more water anyway. Oh, not that much. What a silly goose. Oh well. That's fine. Good enough. Okay. And actually, 
these back because I have them in, in order. And I'm going to use London Blue. Did I tell you what the green one was? That was cut grass. Use some of this London Blue. I don't know why I keep putting my lid back on. It looks like I still have some green in there, but that's all right. Okay. I'm kind of right in this corner. Maybe. If I can smoosh it the way I want it to. Well, it also doesn't help that I have a sticker right on top. So I can't exactly see where I'm smooshing. I'm going to have to find different packaging so that I can see where it's being smooshed. Spray some water on that. Smear some of this around. So I used to be really, I can't say I used to be because I still am, really like paranoid about using my stuff because I didn't know if and when I was going to be able to replace it. And now that I looked at all of these paints and realized that because I was so scared to use it, I literally lost half of them. Like my black, the, uh, is it just called black? Black marble is like stiff. And I'm very sad. I'm very sad about that. I really like Dilution Black. And so if I just slap it in an art journal, I won't waste it, and I'm still using it, which is the whole purpose. Let me get this green out of here. Like my Jane Davenport, like pretty much everything in this craft room I've been hoarding. I think is another reason why I've been on like a scrapbook layout, because it's forcing me to use a little bit of everything. My papers, my stickers, my glue, my tapes. I'm like, I'm paranoid about ever lose, using anything because I don't want to lose anything. Does that make sense? With me not working, getting supplies as often as I'd like is not so easy. I kind of sort of have to make sure my family's fed first, which I think is totally unfair. Like, do they have to eat every day? I'm just saying. And three times a day on top of that? I don't know about this. My kids laugh at me all the time. Mom, when's dinner? Didn't I just feed you yesterday? You have to eat again today. I don't know about this. I think you guys are getting greedy with this whole eating thing. Mom. <laughs> Crack me up. Especially Scarlett, she gets like really serious about it. Mom, yes, I have to eat every day. Don't you know I'm growing? <laughs> yes, Scarlett. Yes, I do. She's been going through the worst growing pains. Oh, I feel so bad for her. They suck. She comes in here and her poor little face is excruciating pain. And she's just holding her leg going, it hurts. It hurts. Boy, this is really messy. And we're just gonna smush that on a different page because why the heck not? And probably by the time I get to this page, I won't remember what product this is. That's okay. I'm also thinking because you know I have um, the Prima chalk edgers or whatever they're called. I haven't used them since I bought them, which is terrible, terrible. I'm glad I didn't spend full price on them because they were pretty pricey. I mean, they were pretty pricey at half off, but that's besides the point. So I'm thinking I'm going to use them for a smushing technique as well. I just want to see what I can smush. I think that's what I'm after right now. 
I just want to see what I can smush. Can I smush everything? Can everything be smushable? Is everything smushable? I just want to know. I think I'm going to add some crazy yellow because why not? I never use yellow in anything. Ever. So why not? Yellow's a fun color. It's nice and bright. Never use orange either now that I think about it. You know what I think scares me about yellows and oranges is that they make things turn to mud. I think that's why I'm scared to use them. Because every time I've used them, things start getting a little muddy on me. You know what other color I don't use out of this collection is the brown. When do you guys use the brown dilutions? The milk chocolate or whatever it's called. When is a good time to use that? I don't think I've ever seen anyone use it for anything. So therefore, I don't know how to use it either. <laughs> is that bad? And you know what else I'm after is the stinking oxides. Why? Why am I after these? I was watching um, Lindsay the Frugal Crafter. She did a video, uh, I want to say about a week or so ago, talking about the things that we buy and why we buy them. And... Yeah, I honestly think that I jumped on the bandwagon of all these mixed media products because everybody else did, and I was loving what everybody else was doing, and I didn't feel like I was talented enough to use them too. Does that make sense? And so, therefore, I bought them because, you know, taxes came in, I got a little extra allowance for just crafting supplies, and... I got all crazy, and I bought all this mixed media stuff, and then realized, as much as I love mixed media, I'm not very good at it, <laughs> which made me very sad. So then I didn't want to use my stuff, because I was too upset with the fact that I wasn't good at it. So I've broken down, because, you know, I talk to myself all the time. Conversations with myself can be very helpful and very dangerous all at the same time. I think I'm going to throw some orange in here. See how the purple and the yellow kind of turn to mud? But that's alright. It's okay. Whoa. Um, I've been talking to myself, like I was saying. I've come to realize, you know what? I may not be good at it, but I really freaking like it. Which means, the only way I'm ever going to get good at it is just by freaking doing it. I used other words in place of certain words used in that sentence, but I need to face my fear. I tell my children all the time, you have to face your fear head on. Just go for it. The only one stopping you is you. Therefore, I'm being hypocritical because the only one stopping me from making a mess is me. And that's just not cool. Because I like making a mess. I don't like getting messy, but I like making a mess. I think it's very fun. And I enjoy it. And I feel like it's very freeing. I don't know if that will make sense to anyone else but me. Of course, then again, a lot of things don't make sense to other people. But that's okay. I feel like it's very freeing. It's just a sigh of relief. It's, oh, that was awesome. It looks like crap. But that was awesome. I got to paint like I was in kindergarten again with no rules no worries, and just doing whatever I felt like because I felt like it. That's what I feel like mixed media is. That's what it feels like to me anyway. I have some white spots, but that's alright. I think I'm going to go through, and this makes me a little nervous, I think, I think I'm going to do a little bit of black. I don't know how much black I'm going to get. Yeah, look at that. Oh, no. It's all gritty. 
Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. So sad. Does this mean I have to toss it? I don't want to toss it unless somebody knows um, a way I can fix it. I've spritzed water into it. This is going to look bad. No, I can't do it. I just can't. It's too grinny and grainy and yuck. I have to go down and buy another one because I screwed up and let this one go to waste. I'm sure somebody will know if I can if there's a way to fix that or not. I put water in it, but it's just sitting on top of it. It's not doing anything. Maybe if I get like a toothpick or something and stir it. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, so plan B, which is this. This is the distressed black soot. Why don't you go screwing up on me too? Whoa, that was a little crazy. That was a bit much. I have a feeling I'm not going to like this. I think it's going to be too much. You just want to splat a little bit. And we're just going to dab that right. Right back off of there. Okay. So that was a bad move. I don't like that at all. But that's okay. It's okay. See, I learned something. I don't like that. I do, however, like splatters. Crazy about splatters. And splatters seem to fix everything. So I'm just going to get crazy and throw a bunch of black splatters everywhere. Okay. Oh, my nozzle's got ink all over it. I don't think I've ever sprayed it before. Did I just put the wrong one on there? No. Okay. Did I? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. And I also have the dilution of white, which never seems to dry. Does anybody get that? Which way does my book go? This way. Can you see me? Okay, see? I like the white splatters over the black, so that fixed that. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how white that'll stay. So for some reason, I, I don't know what it is, but white for me just doesn't stay white. Anybody else have that issue? Yeah, see, splatters just fix everything. It's not, it doesn't look great. I don't think it looks half bad. Does that make sense? Okay, looking at it on my screen up there, this looks terrible. No, I'm not going to smoosh it. I don't know what I was thinking just then. Okay. So, that kind of ruins my plan, because now I don't have a black. But, I wanted to... Hmm. I gotta find them. Please hold. Whoa, hi, smart things. Ring over. You almost lost the light. I don't know if you saw a flash before your eyes. It's a dude. Oh, 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 dropping stuff. Darn, ponytail. Sorry, that was my trimmer that just fell over. Okay. So my game plan was was to use this and use the black um what you call it? The black where's your tail sweeter? Okay, not in the way. Let me dry this just a hair because I have a feeling this is gonna go bad.
Okay, this looks like a hot mess, y'all. I wanted to put her over here. And smudge. And an outline. Oh yeah, this is watery too. Oh, uh, that's not working. It's just going right underneath it. Oh boy. Having issues. <laughs> I don't remember this being this watery. Then again, I was just messing with the dilution, so maybe... I'm not shaking enough? Is it really that watery? I don't remember it being that watery, guys. Alright, let's try. Because why not? Let's try the black hole on the Prima. Please don't ruin my pad. I still have a pad left. Feels like I barely do, but I do, so that's what matters, right? Yes. Yes, we'll go to bed in just a little bit. Quit scratching at me, you silly girl. She's so bossy, I tell you. Between my children and my mother telling me what to do, and I got the cat telling me what to do. Okay, see, that didn't turn out too bad, I don't think. I'm just going to smush this around here, and a little bit over here, to kind of create more of a shadow. Is it ruining my pad? I don't think so. I don't think so. So that's kind of cool. That's good to know. Alright. I might end up getting a lot made a huge mess. I don't know which one it was. Something made a huge mess. Okay. I'll clean that off later. So there's that. So I wanted her, and then I wanted to put... I already forgot my quote. I am constantly creating myself. And I think I'm going to use black. Black font. Hi, S'more. I I'm almost done, Bossy Pants. Can you guys see her over here sniffing my desk, wondering what I'm doing? I am. Let me make sure I'm spelling stuff right. Hey, don't you get in my drawer. Hey. Hey, that drawer is not for you. I have my drawer open with all my chalk edgers. She's trying, she's contemplating whether or not she'll fit into it. Hey. Sorry, I was trying to do this as quick as I can. Because Miss Bossy Pants over here is apparently ready for bed. And T. I think I'm okay with it being really wonky, to be honest. T. Y. No. L. Y. Oh, God, I caught myself. Constantly. Oh, are you done with me now, Smart? I don't know if I want it that long. Jumped off my chair. Messing me up, man. C R. 
a lot of ease in here. That's good. Oh goodness, I feel like I'm really slow. What? See, I'm getting black smudges all over this sheet here. Oh, you know what? It might be because I'm touching my page. Yeah, I'm getting the spots from the... Because it doesn't dry. It never dries. <laughs> eating. I feel like this is very true for me right now because I feel like in my little crafty world I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I don't know where my happy place is right now. And I think you guys are seeing it because I'm losing subbies and I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just going to do seven. I don't know when you guys are going to see this video, but for me, today is the 11th. So like I said, I've been recording like two or three videos a night. So I have a feeling with back to school, there might be some nights where I don't have another one. Well, that stinks. Well, okay. So technically, it's the 11th. But I haven't gone to bed yet, so is it really the 11th for me, or is it still the 10th? I'm going to say it's the 10th, because I don't have an extra one. There we go. Okay, I think I'm going to use this guy. And just edge my edges, because that's what it's for, right? I did glue two pages together. I didn't do it very well on that corner, obviously. So I'll have to go back and fix that. I had a feeling I did. I wasn't sure. See, I think I'm feeling a little lost in my creative, creativity, creativeness. I'm really enjoying the scrapbooking, but I feel like nobody else is enjoying it with me, and that makes me a little sad. But that's okay. We like what we like, right? Okay. So there's that. And I think it's it looks chaotic and it looks crazy, but I think I'm going to call this one done. I like it. It's kind of chaotic right now, which is kind of how I'm feeling in my little, like I said, my little crafty world right now. I feel, I feel a little chaotic. A little bit of chaos going on. So there we go. Yep, I think I like this one. It's growing on me. The more I look at it, the crazier it is, the crazier it is, the more I like it. Okay, I'm going to call it quits here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!